Rich Side Canine, man. It's all about relationships. Long-term friendships. 20 years in the making. Marines, cops, work the street together. Both of us retire pretty quick, but I have walked into a parallel universe. And um, it's cool, man. It's got me... <laughs> this is exactly... Good to see you. It's exactly what I'm talking about. There's a stormtrooper with a Nerf 50 caliber. Nerf? Which is looking there, boy. <laughs> with a 50 caliber Nerf uh, full size rifle. Why are you wearing the mask? Well, COVID, you know, you're supposed to be wearing a mask. This is all I had available. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are at Sarge in Reds. Sarge in Reds is run by JJ, uh, national, international toy international, dealer. Intergalactic. Intergalactic toy dealer. Uh, don't get it twisted. Prior Marine, retired cop. Uh, <laughs> let me show you around this for just a second. It gets better. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a tour around Sergeant Reds. I had no idea how much volume and inventory JJ has created. But it's awesome, man. All joking aside, this is real. We're very serious here. There's no joking <laughs> at Sergeant Reds, sir. None. <laughs> I want to play with toys, and um, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, so I don't know why, but it is what it is. So, <laughs> this man actually runs a national coast-to-coast -coast, uh, buying, selling, vintage, collectibles, you name it. He's got it. Again, Marine, retired cop, you're going to support small business, man. This is the one to do. And he will call and talk to you on the phone about the most weird topic with toys and collectibles. <laughs> I mean, this is what you're going to get. This is real. I can't script this or make this up. Anyway, uh, show me the layer. I'll show you the, I'll show you the uh, layout right now. We're actually working on getting a physical location. We have a couple spots we're looking at, but we should be getting uh, the storefront up and running. So I can't talk to him right now. I can't watch his lips move. And it's weird because now he turned it back on. But what he just said was they actually have a brick front location coming. And he has a massive eBay and... Uh, Probably safe in here, right? Yeah, take the mask off, man. You what looks better, that or? That looks pretty good. It does, but. So you have an eBay store, and what else? Right now we have an eBay store, and um, we have a website, sergeantreds.com. Sergeantreds.com. Look, see, I've got a dragon here. Sergeantreds.com. I'll link it in the description, man. Check them out. You guys can buy so much cool stuff, but check this out. This is the layer. Don't mind the mess, because this is uh, organized to me. And it totally caught me off guard tremendously, but. It doesn't get much, but if you can come here as an adult and not want to, we had an intruder walk up behind us. If you can come here as an adult and not want to play, something's wrong, wrong with you. But uh, this is insane. So one of the pieces I'm taking home with me is going to be Lord Vader. This full-size Lord Vader. Watch this. This is going to go in my new office. Check this out. Don't make me destroy you. <laughs> is with you if you only knew the power your skills are complete i mean Beautiful. that's incredible so let me uh, give you a quick uh a quick tour here okay give, guys? give us a tour so what we do is we buy and sell vintage toys and modern toys as you can see here we got some more modern gi joe stuff now, i talk fast i get told that all the time okay sorry I... he was always a faster talker than me though that's why we communicated so good together we could get through a normal conversation and like take an average Team, five minutes, we could do it in 35 Remember seconds. Remember we read War and Peace in like half an hour between both of us? 25 reading? minutes. Yeah, tops. Well, that's because you stopped to look at the pictures. Um, so we have vintage and modern stuff. Vintage and modern. I will talk slower for you. I'm still concerned <laughs> that he's carrying around a five-foot sword for absolutely no reason right now. Listen. You see what I mean? First. <laughs> safety first. All right, so we got so, vintage yeah, and modern. Vintage, what else? We have modern stuff. We do magic and gathering, and we buy, sell, all this stuff. So if you have a collection of magic cards, when he says and dragon books, all this stuff, Keep in mind what all this stuff means. There is more toys in here than a toy store. Hands down. Hands we down. We even have an Oscar Wire, Meyer Wiener Bank. Just buy that for the wife. Hey, Red! <laughs> it's a piggy bank. It's a piggy bank. So, um, anything collectible, pop culture related? I mean, like like I said, not everything's necessarily a toy. We have some, uh, it's like some silly stuff like these old McDonald plates. You know, stuff that's going to cool. bring you back to your childhood. You know, we have Hold a on, lot got, of stuff. We got the selfie light here. Look at that. Look look what a little bit of light will do. God damn. God, what? Turn that off. Hideous. Woo! Do you want one of my masks, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> what so, else we got going on over here? Over here, I mean, we have some masks. This is a vintage uh, Star Wars. Okay, so let me tell you a funny story. I was just talking with JJ off camera, and I was like, how much does something like this cost? Like, a couple hundred bucks. I was like, literally, I think I said, what, $15? Yeah. 
I'm like, is this like $15 or is it free? And he's like, no, that's like $350. Please be careful. I'm like, what? Uh, let me show you something else over here. And then I'll come back to JJ. Check this out over here. So I'm gonna go deep in the layer. And there's a helicopter that I thought was pretty cool. I mean, look how deep I'm going here. It's crazy. There's a helicopter back here that I thought was pretty neat. And it, it reminded me of Rambo 3, um, the Russians, when they were in Afghanistan. But actually, I was corrected immediately that this is a fully intact G.I. Joe collectible helicopter. So I said... These are not toys. These are uh, adult collectibles. Yeah, this is a problem. I said, 10 bucks? Yeah, it's probably maybe 100, 150 bucks. 150 bucks. Maybe I have to look it up. But it is cool. There's a, dri there's a driver. It, it, there's a crane on the bottom of it. It's all intact. <laughs> Pretty neat. Um, JJ also makes mass purchases where he finds stores. He finds other toy stores and he buys them out. Uh, which is which is cool, man. I mean, my favorite thing though is to go picking through garages, attics. It's like it's like a treasure hunt for me. Um, don't do garage sales; you will not get any money. You know, call us; we'll come out and we'll we'll, we'll hook you up. We'll give you what. So tell them how it works. So you can reach out to me through uh, Facebook at SergeantReds.com. Um, there's also a form on there you can fill out and send it. If it's a big enough collection, we'll travel pretty much anywhere. He's got a trailer. Uh, God well, damn it! Sorry, That's the third time. I'm for Aaron Taylor, <laughs> but uh, if it's something down in Virginia, Aaron will bring it up for me. He loves to drive. Mm, just you, drove. You just drove how many miles? Fifteen hours to come see with JJ a, with a van full of barbie dolls. With a van. So we're gonna explore back here. Um, Careful, it's a little cluttered right now. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is worth the trip. It's worth coming up here. And in a little bit, we're gonna go to JJ's lake house up yep. on what lake is it? It's on Lake Huron. Lake Huron, and you can rent that lake house. It's a lake swooping rental. Swooping swine retreat, like a flying pig, a swooping swine. Swooping swine. He's a retired cop, and he named a beach house the flying pig. Because we imagine have a beach that. house when pigs flew. When pigs flew. And there we go. But now he just bought a beach house. Pretty yeah, cool, man. A couple years now. But... Now, now, yeah, a couple years. But that's also the example you... of, tell them how you started, man. And here we are with the famous Miss Red. The Red of Sergeant Reds. And again, um, JJ's on witness protection program, as you can clearly tell. And he believes in COVID safety. But he has a new mask every time. Only safety here. Safety first. We package stuff safely and we practice safety and we practice what we preach. <laughs> package it safely. Why is your harm behind the pillow? Well, I had some business for you, Aaron. Some training dogs <laughs> on the side. So I figured, oh, we're all here. We need some training. And I'm pissing on everything. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Okay, what about this guy? Think he, think he can you train the dog one, Aaron? <laughs> we're going to train that little puppy right there. I know that. We're going to train yeah, that little guy right there. All right. So anyway, um, tell us your story. Like, what, what was Sergeant Reds? How'd this happen? And for those of you who don't know, I met JJ in 2004. Trained him, yeah, 2004. Yeah. Dodge Terrace time frame, 2004. Yeah, yeah, I trained Aaron. Aaron was my uh, trainee. I taught him everything he knows about law enforcement. Half that story is true. He taught. He he. I was his trainee. The whole teaching aspect, mm -hmm. we didn't we didn't learn too much. Doesn't mean you know everything. This is very true. <laughs> so, and then JJ chased uh, law enforcement career. Did that for uh, retired after uh, retired. Yeah, retired after what 20 years in the military and law enforcement. So. Yeah, man. And now he. Uh, Hangs out up here, and he's living the dream that I wish I was living sometimes. Hey, close to family. Yeah. Hell yeah. Near the water. Fucking love it. Um, <laughs> I can't take you serious, no matter what you're doing right now. <laughs> anyway, so tell us about, tell the people out there, what's Sergeant Reds? What's... So, you know, Dean and I, uh, we were trying to raise some money for an adoption. Basically, a couple of buddies donated some magic cards, which we got started with selling magic gathering cards on eBay to try to raise money. Branched out from there. What year was that? Dragons. Uh, 2013. Yeah. Wow. 2013. I remember a side story sitting with you in the academy. We we're taking some stupid in-service class, and your phone kept going off. It was like, bitty, bitty, bitty. I was like, what is that? And you, exactly. And you opened it, and you were like, yeah. And you were like, I'm making sales. I'm like, what do you mean making sales? And you were like, I'm selling cards. I'm like, as we sit in class. And that was kind of my first eye-opener to like, you know, online, real, passive revenue. And, and now you're continuing with the Yoda. Okay, so 2013. Gizmo. Gizmo, my bad. 2013, and now it's 2020. You've retired. Yeah, you retired. moved halfway across the country. You sold your house in Northern Virginia. Yep. You bought a badass house in Michigan. You bought a fucking lake house in Michigan. Yep. You got rentals. You're about to buy a new building. We're about to get a new building to put our uh, toy store in, so it won't all be online anymore. We'll still be online. We'll be all in our house. Well, I mean, I figured you still have You like it, Denise. She does. JJ said that she, she has. She's always out there playing with the damn thing. But, uh, Watching this, sir. And she has special delivery guys that she likes the UPS yeah, and FedEx guys. Like her, her hottie McTotty FedEx guy was <laughs> She's like, I'll get it. I was like, go put your robe back on. Whoopsie. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah, so, so, 
we got here. Now, what do you what do you do? Like when I walked in, I was overwhelmed. I had no idea the volume or the yeah. capacity or what you're doing. We bike lunches of every size. We drove to New York. Wait, 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 wait. So, so the history, right? Okay. Yep, history. We started this just like as a side. Yeah, side Let's hustle. raise some money really quick. You would never imagine me and JJ got off topic. Never. No. Never. Years. Never. So, we started this, let's raise some quick money. Yep. We can sell a bunch of stuff and nail down. And it just blew up. It yeah. really just blew up. It was all magic gathering for a couple of years. Yep, it started off with magic gathering and then and then Dungeons and Dragons. How did you into toys? Some, there was something. I don't remember. But I think I saw some toys. I was like, I remember having that. I was like, you know what? If people are buying magic cards. Little, if I'm interested in this stuff, other people probably love it. I don't remember having this. The little kid in you is what did That's it. That's the thing. But like, <laughs> yeah. It's not necessarily like this is a piece of fuzz in plastic, but this brings back memories to kids who had this. This brings back memories of a better time, you know, for a lot of people. Like, I think a lot of toys nowadays, I mean, toys now aren't that big of a deal because there's so much video games yeah, and stuff. Video games. You know what I mean? People that buy this stuff, most of the people that buy this are like our age, you know? Yeah. So what's your average clientele? What's their average age? You know, I, I, it's, a lot of it's online, so I don't really know. But I, I know a lot of people in our group and our page are probably, you know, late 30s and up. I mean, there's younger guys that are getting into the newer stuff, which is awesome. And that's why we started doing the nostalgia box thing to try to kind of get people that aren't into collecting. Oh, 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 oh. He just dropped a nugget to you guys. A nugget. A nugget. I and it was nuggets all the time. super. Yeah, I'm sure you oh do. Oh, my God. It was super cool. He just showed me. So you just, you, you yeah. glanced over it too fast. Uh, JJ and them are starting to sell what's called, well, they already sell it. We launched yeah. it. Launched at Christmas, a nostalgia box. He showed me. I thought it was an ingenious idea. It's a small box, a foot by a foot. It's relatively cheap. Uh, what would you say the cost was approximately? We got about thirty dollars. So it's either forty or twenty to fifty dollars, somewhere in the middle there, most likely. But each box contains old toys, yeah, old comics. Toys, comics, uh, Mad magazines, like the wax pack trading cards from different movies and stuff back in the day. Basically, a blast from the past. Yeah, I mean. Exactly. It's like a time capsule. Vintage candy, but vintage style candy. So right. stuff yeah. you would have remembered having as a kid, like a and candy it's, cigarette. it's situated as like a gift, right? Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. for moms to give to their older nieces or their, their little brothers. It's a gift for someone who has everything. Everyone buys yeah. everything nowadays. Yeah. Maybe a lot of people don't realize, hey, I used to have a He-Man toy. And you get this box and it's just like, wow. It's like a little gift in them. So let me ask you a question. If I wanted to get into selling toys and I thought it was so easy, because you see a lot of stuff on social uh -huh. media so now with... you ready to research your ass off. Yeah, you see a lot of stuff yeah. like... Just go to a garage sale. You make all kinds of yeah. money. And garage sales are just like if you're selling your toys at a garage sale, you're you're losing money. I mean, your best bet is to contact us. We'll don't give you a fair price. Don't tell people to stop doing that, though. I don't go to garage sales. <laughs> I don't. I don't like dealing with that. I would rather like word of mouth. People know that I'm gonna offer a fair price. So, what was your secret? What made you blow up? Like, what made you get to where? Because for those you don't know, my parents made me blow up. My mom cooks. JJ is funny. Oh. For those of you guys that don't know, JJ didn't really retire on time. He retired early because yeah. his side hustle business took off to a degree that he could leave. And his wonderful wife, Red, has a job that she can basically work as long as she has internet connection and a cell phone, which is uh, amazing. And I don't know what she does. I actually don't. First thing I walked in here, you were yelling at somebody on the phone. And he's like, I have no idea what Denise does for a living. <laughs> you asked him, what's Denise doing? Like, I don't know. Like, I have no idea what she does. conference call. That's all she does. Spreadsheets and conference calls. Yes. He's like, I have no idea. So what was your secret? Like, what was the... Just hard work and, like, treating people right, you know? I'm not, I'm not going to go make you... If I know this something's worth $500, I'm not going to offer you 50 cents for it. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fair to you because I want you to let your buddies and stuff that have magic cards or D&D know that, hey, I'll get a good price from JJ. And when I sell something, That's I package it... That's a point that you should probably make sure you communicate that, like, he's had people ask for certain prices for things and given them more. Yeah. He because does. he's like, dude, you're not, like, you don't understand what you have right in front of you. I can't pay you $5 for this. I need to pay you $20 wow. for this. Wow, that's cool. Well, then, and those people, they'll, they'll tell their friends and then I'll get their business. I would rather have people come to me knowing that I'm a trustworthy yeah. source to sell stuff to than have to go to flea markets and garage sales and, like, drive all over, you know, heaven and earth trying to find stuff. I you're, deal with you're word built of mouth on and, and networking. Yeah. People know that when they And he loves to buy... Powdered donuts. They're delicious. At all times. <laughs> delicious. Aaron never ever eats them. Oh, yeah, the never. time that you're passed out in the cruiser. <laughs> Here we go. This uh, is going to go a different awesome. direction. Oh, my gosh, complete, <laughs> complete fabrication. Um, so, how do they find you? Uh, Sargeandreds.com. Sarge, S A R G E. And Reds.com. We also are on Facebook. You can get us there through private message. Or you can email us at sargeandreds at gmail.com. And we'll put that all in there. A bunch of ways to get a hold of us. If you got a collection you're interested selling, if you're interested in the nostalgia box, I mean, we have the basic ones, which is just random. But if you have something specific you're looking for, we can build a specific box to you. And obviously, the cost varies based on what kind of toys you want. Super cool. Um, so, yeah, give us a give us a buzz, and uh, we'll get back to you. We'll 
Work it. Red, what you got? Close them. Tell them something good. Um, Tell me something good. Don't do, sing do, do, do. Of that one. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But you know, if I start to sing, somebody else is going to start to sing, and then you have no idea what direction yeah, the song's going to go. Our, our, our <laughs> sessions never work out very well. They were definitely not something to be. Taylor. <laughs> definitely not something to be recorded. So what's up? Give us something good. So I want to say I cannot wait to get a real toy store, real brick and mortar, physical location, physical location, mm -hmm. because it's going to get like a little separation of our house and the business, which is good and bad. Yeah. Like, like having just a community place where people can come. So we're going to have an area where he we can He has play. lots to say, and for him to have other like-minded people to talk to all day yeah. would be really good. But we have yeah. various people can play games where people can come hang you out. You have coffee there? We're actually looking at that right now. Maybe That'd be cool. Like a small coffee shop to bring people in that maybe don't care about the toys, but they want to come in and be a part Super of it. Super smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know, Multiple tap, 100%. So, a couple dogs, dogs in the back boarding. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it. Veteran owned, police uh, owned, veteran operated, police cost. operated. Actually, all the actual work takes place by Miss Red right here, Miss D. And uh, that's it, man. Richside K9, Sergeant Red's coming to you from you. Utica, Michigan. I always think it's like, never mind. I'm not going to say that. I, I get the word Utica mixed up in my head. Okay. What? Wow. No, uterus. That's disgusting. <laughs> Richside K9.